Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma. First of all, I hope you all had a fabulous Thanksgiving with your families yesterday. Um, I had an awesome time. It's always, always good just to get together with family um, and then have lots of food <laughs> and lots and lots of laughter. So we had an excellent time yesterday. Um, so, first of all, actually second of all happy Black Friday so I am super excited today because um, we are actually releasing two two new dies this first one here I've got several several requests for this one is called more stitch rectangular dies you know how I have the other set out that's just called of um, stitch rectangular dies and more well everybody wanted just the little all the little squares that are in between um, so this is so the bigger one will layer on top of the biggest one in my other set perfectly so they'll all layer into each other perfectly okay so this first one here is more stitch reg rectangle dies there's a total of eight dies in this guy right here okay and then the second one is the stitched postage dies so this has a total of five dies in it and I love the way this one came out because on the center I made a little tiny stamp so you can make like a little faux stamp on you know what I'm saying like on a postage card you could, you could even put that on an envelope you know to you go ahead and um, if you're handing it to someone I should say you wouldn't want to put that through the mail because you have to put a real stamp on there but you could use that for so many different things and I'm so happy I did that little tiny one right in the center okay so these are the two dies that are available for sale today so don't forget I am having a sale on my um on in the store okay so you're going to go ahead and use the code black friday and make sure you make it all in capital letters um, so you could go ahead and use that code and that will give you 20% off of your entire in stock order purchase okay and these two brand new dies are available right now for purchase okay so I actually use these two dies for my card today and then the next item I use were my um, this is a holiday tag stamps and dies I'm using this stamp right here the ho 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 and then I used a few this one comes with lots of dies okay so I used a few of the dies in that one and then I actually went this is funny because I went to Joanne's um, the day before Thanksgiving and I swear they're having a Black Friday sale already I actually picked up this Heidi Swap glittered and foil paper I can't remember how much they were but they were definitely uh, they were definitely half off I believe but I love it it's so awesome so I got this one the glitter and foil and then I also picked up this one that's called the marquee love and I won't flip through the pages but basically all the patterns you see on the front are on the inside and it's not double side just so you'll know it's just on one side of the paper but I love it so this was at Joann's and I bet you it's probably even cheaper today but all right so let's go ahead and put together the card really quick okay I am oh I forgot to tell you I also used the stitch pop-up die you know that stitch pop-up die that I had for um, this last release we just did okay here goes those stitched pop-up dies right here which are back in stock already I'm super excited about that because we sold out of, out of those really fast so I have a video um, actually I'll link it in this blog post what I did when I got that die I actually I have a whole bunch of just um, these little cards that I had cut out already so I did a whole bunch of cards so this way if I when I'm ready for it, I just bring it out and it's done for me already so I'll link a video on to um, I'll have a link to the video on how to use those stitch pop-up dies okay so um, I already put my adhesive on the back and this is going to be the base of my card here um, 
I'm wondering, I'm going to go to, I'm going to do, I'm going to put this in here first before I do anything else. So let me see where I want the, my card to be. We'll go ahead and have it that way. So let's go ahead and just put this together here. And this is just some, I actually ordered this by accident. Um, it was supposed to be a thinner one. I thought I ordered the half an inch one. But I think, let me see what size this is. This is the one inch one. And I was like, man, should I return it? But then after I thought about it, I was like, you know what? I could totally use this. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and just line it up in here the best I could. Line it up on the inside of my card, just like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and just close this down, just like that, okay? Okay, perfecto. And then now all I have to do is just take all this release tape off the back here. Okay. I'm not sure about all of you, but I swear I'm still full. I ate so much. <laughs> I like overate yesterday, but you know, sometimes you cannot help it because everything is so good. <laughs> So I woke up, I feel like I wake up feeling a little sick, I overate. Okay, so there we go right there. There goes our card like that, okay. So we're going to go ahead and decorate the front before I put um, what I want on the inside, okay. So we are using the brand new stitched posted dies. And this is the bigger one in this set. And I went ahead and I added some black fun foam to the back to go ahead and pop this up. So as you can see, I'm really happy I this I ordered this size by accident because it's so easy to put behind these. Okay, so let me I'm gonna put this I'm gonna put this off to the side like so. Okay. I should have did it that other way, but you know what? It's okay. I'm, I'm just going to leave it alone. Okay, and then this is one of the uh, the brand new of the more stitch rectangular dies. And this is all from that little Marquee Love Heidi Swap. Um, this paper is from that paper pad there. Okay. So I'm going to put that like so. And then I was so excited to use this. This is the little tiny baby stamp that is in that die set. That's the smallest size there. And this is going to go like so. Okay, and then I cut this little tree that I cut out is also from that holiday tags stamp in die set. Just use these little tweezers here to put this on like so. There we go. And then I went ahead and I used this die. It's also from the holiday tags. So I'm going to go ahead and... This one, I'm not going to pop up. I'm just going to go ahead and um, glue this directly down onto the actual card, onto that, but I don't feel like popping this one up because I feel like everything else has popped up already. And since this is using that like gold, um, not gold, that little foiled paper in that set, it's already standing out on its own because it's nice and shiny. This is from that, uh, this isn't from that this same paper pad. This is from that set that I showed you. The glitter stack and the foiled stack, which I'm so happy I picked up. Okay, let's just go ahead and just put that over that for right now. And then I'm going to go ahead and just put the adhesive behind here. Now, don't forget to check my blog because I never posted the video for the winner who won the $50 gift card to my store. 
from the blog hop, I had my team and I uh, took the day off, this week off actually. So, you know, everybody gets busy for Thanksgiving. So, everybody took the week off and I never posted the winner. So definitely go to my blog um, to see if you were the lucky winner of that gift card. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, when I cut this out, I never took out the little, I never popped out the little eye. Okay, sometimes I like to press it down with the little acrylic blocks only because I feel like if, if saying for example, the, especially if I'm using this, that foil paper, because I feel like if the little adhesive seeps out, and if I do it with my fingers, I feel like I'm moving it onto this, and you don't want to move that onto this particular paper, so I just do it like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a little adhesive there, so I'm going to pop out that little the little dot perfectly right onto the adhesive right there. How cute is that? Super duper adorable. Okay, so now that we got that, oops, you know what, let me use this to push down that because, okay. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, we're gonna go ahead and do the inside. Now I already put that on there, that little piece of uh, adhesive there, but then here goes the little, the little Santa, the little Santa outfit that's from that holiday stamp. There's a lot of stuff in that set. Okay, I have some little piece of feather on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this adhesive off here. And let's go ahead and just put this on like so. Okay, so this way when you open the card, the little Santa outfit is going to pop up just like that. And then we are going to go ahead and stamp on there, which let's see if we could do it. That's upside down. Okay, let me go ahead and move this on the block a little bit up further there. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and stamp this like so. Okay, so let me go ahead and we're going to go ahead and stamp it with this VersaFine ink here. And I love this ink because it's nice and perfectly crisp black. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and stamp this right here on the bottom here let me just get any feels like there's some let me hold the card open like so perfect isn't that adorable now you could totally just do hook up the inside of the card and just put decorate all of the inside if you want um, but I'm trying to keep it simple just in case you do want to mass produce these and if you do want to mass produce these these are super easy because there's no coloring involved all basically what it is it's all die cutting and that's super easy and then we'll just using the one stamp in there I think it came out super duper adorable and what I'm going to do one last thing here um, I'm trying to find a wink of Stella that I filled up, that I added some water to. I think this is it. I'm just going to go ahead and just color this little tree in to give it a little bit of glitter there. So hopefully you could see that. It has a little bit of shimmer on there. And then that's it, everyone. That is my card for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, now, I'm the only one, there's no blog hop with this. I'm the only one doing this because, like I said, I didn't, I didn't want my design team, they needed the day off. <laughs> they needed the whole week off because they've been working really, really hard. So they have the whole week off uh, this week. So 
this is your only stop today so I hope you enjoyed this card as much as I did I love the way it looks it's super duper cute um, so anyways you could go ahead and visit my store at uh, my-creative-time.com to go ahead and pick up the set of dies if you are interested in them and don't forget to use the code black friday and that is all in capital letters um, to get 20 percent off of your entire in stock only purchase and this sale will end on sunday night at midnight okay everyone um, I'm trying to think. I think that's it. Um, again, don't forget to visit my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to see if you were the lucky winner of the blog hop um, that we had for uh, last week, for last Friday. And also, I'm so excited because we are having our five days of Christmas, and that will start this Monday. Okay, everyone? So don't forget to join us for that because my team and I have some really cute and fun ideas last minute ideas for you for Christmas and I think I have the best best giveaways we're gonna have a giveaway every single day of the week um, leading up to our big finale giveaway on Friday so I cannot wait and I'm so looking forward to that everyone so thank you so so much for tuning in happy Black Friday shopping um, have a fabulous weekend and I will see you back here first day First thing, Monday morning. Okay, everyone? Bye-bye.